Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Fitter Persona Guide for Young Minds. Today's topic is Peacemaker. Let us pray. Father, we're grateful for the gift of life. We thank you for making us to meet again, to study at your word, and to know more of you. We are named by exalted and glorified in Jesus' name. We pray that anyone who has sinned against your comfort of your glory, Father, please have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Father, please grant us understanding of your word. Help us not to be the doers of your word, but not just the hearers. And we shall put into action what we'll be learning today. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. As I said before, the topic is the peacemaker. And the Bible text is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 25, verse 18 to 35, which talks about Abigail, who prevented that um david from sinning against god the memory verse from today is matthew chapter 5 verse 9 and it says blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of god meaning that if you're a peacemaker you are called a child of god message for today being a peacemaker means working to resolve conflict and promoting harmony among people so if you are a peacemaker and you are among people who are arguing since you are a peacemaker you yeah you make sure that there is peace and the argument stops and there is no trouble or conflict in that place you are so jesus bless those who are actively seek seeking to make peace because they reflect the nature of god as his children so those who are actively seeking peace those who really need, want peace in that place they are jesus blessed people like that peacemakers understand that peace isn't just the absence of conflict but the presence of understanding and empathy and reconciliation peace doesn't mean that there is no trouble yes it means that there is no trouble it, do, it just doesn't mean that it also means that there is understanding that people around there they understand themselves they're forgiving themselves and they are done with the arguments it also means empathy and reconciliation it means that they're forgiving themselves in her bible reading for today which is first samuel chapter 28 verse 18 to 35 her big girl was an example of a peacemaker she prevented david from sinning against the lord by wanting to avenge himself. A personal soft words of encouragement, patience, and a wisdom softened David's heart. So we should be like Abigail, who was a peacemaker. We should also be a peacemaker using our words of encouragement to soften people's hearts and to guide them in making peace in anywhere they have. David listened to Abigail and her hair strictly to her advice, and it really paid David for doing that. In our work today, conflicts arise for various reasons such as disagreements, misunderstandings, or difference in beliefs. But as a child of God, you are called to be an instrument of God's peace. So wherever you see arguments going on, wherever you see this um this argument, misunderstanding going on, as a child of God, you should make sure that peace reigns in that place and the disagreement and misunderstanding stops. Just as Jesus reconciled humanity with God through his sacrifice on the cross, you are also called to reconcile with people with another, but not with your blood. Rather with wisdom, patience, and impartiality. So when there is a trouble or conflict, and as a peacemaker, you are trying to make peace reign in that place, you should solve it with wisdom, not thinking that, oh, you know everything, and you think and be proud of yourself but some it with wisdom with understanding and with love and impartiality so don't be partial don't be on one side and make sure you are a person who is ready to hear other side and to listen to other people for peace to reign in that place peacemakers listen to both sides emphasize with different perspectives and work towards solutions that benefit everyone involved so when you are trying to work towards solutions you should not work towards solutions that benefit one side but that benefits the both sides and everyone for peace to reign and for them to be reconciliation between those 
both sides. Being a peacemaker doesn't mean avoiding difficult conversations or ignoring injustice. It means confronting issues with love, patience, and understanding. So being a peacemaker, you have to confront issues with love, patience, and understanding, but not misunderstanding. Because when there is misunderstanding happens as a peacemaker and you're having more misunderstanding, peace can't reign. It just adds more fire to the fire already, meaning adds more conflict to the conflict that has already been there. So what's the message for today? As a peacemaker, you should make sure that peace reigns. And if you are a peacemaker, you are called as a child of God. As a child of God, as a peacemaker, wherever you are, that there is trouble, conflict, misunderstanding, disagreement, make sure to walk towards peace reigning in that place with love, impartiality, and understanding and wisdom and i pray god helps you today as you walk from now henceforth to make sure peace is wherever you are in the name of jesus so the scriptural truth is when you strive to bring peace you reflect god's love and his desire for unity among his children and you shall be called a child of god so remember this memory of us Matthew chapter 5 verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God. Repeat after me, Lord. Give me wisdom, patience, and courage as I seek toward receiving, conf resolving conflict and promoting harmony in Jesus' name. So as we walk toward promoting harmony in everywhere we have, we receive wisdom, patience, and courage from God in Jesus' name. I pray God helps you in all you do. But in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. And have a blessed day.